All right, we're in math phase 1088, and even though this is considered pre-algebra, we are definitely doing some heavy-duty algebra stuff, all right? And uh, you're going to cover this again when you're in Algebra 1 next year, and then you'll be doing it very easily when you get to Algebra 2. It'll be like a piece of cake, all right? But a little introduction here in this pre-algebra course. We're on pages 27 through 30 of 1088. And um, <clears throat> we have negative 8x squared plus 6. And then we're adding 6x squared minus 7x, okay? Now when we're adding, we're just looking for what are called like terms. A like term doesn't just mean it has the same variable, the same letter in it. It also has to have the same exponent, okay? So x squared, x squared, these two are considered like terms, and I can actually combine them. But notice there is no like term for the 7x because this has an x in it and this 6 does not have an x. So those two terms are not like terms and we can't do anything with them. Let me show you what happens in the answer. We can combine these two. Now we've got to be careful. Remember our rule, if we're adding and the signs are the same, add and keep the common sign. Adding when the signs are different, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. So let's subtract 6 from 8 and get 2, and then we're going to keep the negative from the negative 8. All right, so I'm putting this one and this one together and get negative 2x squared. And then I'm just going to list the minus 7x and then the plus 6. I'm just tacking them on because they're not like terms, okay? And we prefer usually to write these in what's called descending order. So the highest exponent first and then the 1 exponent. And then this one doesn't have a variable, all right? Let's take this one. Which ones are like terms? I have an x squared term. And here I have an x squared term. Ah, so I can actually combine the, in fact, in the pace, I think what they do is they list it like this, bring this one underneath 6x squared, and then minus 3x, and then the minus 7. So we're lining up the like terms, okay? Negative 6x, negative 3x, lining up the like terms. The negative 7 doesn't have a like term. So we'll just tag it on the end, and now I can combine. In both cases here, we're adding and the signs are the same, all right? So we add and keep the common sign, add and keep the common sign, and then just tack that one on because it's the only one, okay? There's several others on the page of that type, and I don't think you'll find that to be too hard. I think that's on like page 28 or something. Let's go now to subtraction. This is just a little bit trickier. We kind of follow the same idea where we're gonna look for like terms, but with subtraction, we have to do something first. So first off, I'm going to keep this equation, or this statement here, when I bring this over, I'm going to change all of these to their opposites. So instead of writing 10x squared, I'm going to write minus 10x squared. Instead of writing 15, I'm going to write minus 15. And notice it needs to be lined up under the negative 11. Okay, so there is no like term with the 7x. This negative, though, in a sense, got distributed to both of those. All right, now I'm gonna add. So now I add and keep the common signs. 13x squared plus negative 10x squared is 3x squared. Just bring the 7x down, and now I can add negative 11 plus negative 15, negative 26. And that one's done. Let's do the same thing here. We're going to bring this underneath the first one, and because this is subtraction, <clears throat> now watch this, it's a little tricky, the subtraction means all of these get changed to their opposite. So that's easy to see with this first one, negative 6x squared, 
But now this negative times this negative actually makes it positive. Positive 5x. And then the negative times the 4 makes it negative 4. Okay? So do you see how it's the same terms here? It's just that they're all the opposite of what they were up here. And that's because we're subtracting. Now I can add straight down. These are like terms all lined up here. And so we can combine these and get 6x squared. And then you can see the answer to that. And you're adding 3 plus negative 4. Subtracting the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. <laughs> Or again, I'll let you finish that one. There's a few others on page 30 that are like that as well.